start. Um, the electric motors have changed to these. These are Trumper skateboard motors. Uh, I'm going to give these a go. And I'm using their speed controllers as well. That's VESC6 controllers, two of those. I've not had it out outside yet. It seems to work nice on the rollers. I'll give it a, a quick roll in a minute. Uh, what else has... Nothing else happened at the back. Oh, I've got... I'm using one receiver for the radio link just to control the VSCs. And you'll see in a minute there's another one at the front that's doing everything else because this when I connected the steering and brakes to this one it didn't like it for some reason, all the steering went jittery and everything. Right, let me just uh, connect the batteries up, we'll just give it a quick roll. The, these speed controllers are ever so good low down. Uh, you remember how uh, jittery and everything the first ones were had. All these, these can do this. And silent as well. But I'm just going to hold it, I think it'll be alright. So I'll also do this. The other thing it's got now is uh, it's got anti-lock brakes, so you push forward and when you pull back it brakes, then for reverse uh, you go again. So let's put it full power and then I'll slam the brakes on. Uh, I don't know if the anti-lock works or not, we'll have to wait till it goes out. I uh, can't run it backwards because it tends to oh, slide off. Anyway, it sounds powerful. What it's like outside, we'll find out uh, when I go and mow the lawn. Uh, I've bought two of these. Give those a try. Uh, they seem okay so, so far. Uh, the original ones are these which was supposed to be reasonable, but after the third run, or third charge, uh, three of the packs went completely dead. So uh, that's now a 9S battery I've got. So then I bought those. Hopefully they'll be fine. Uh, I've scrapped all that stupid steering gearbox thing. And because uh, I found a a high torque normal servo, which at the minute seems okay, uh, but it's got the wrong gear on it. That gear is too small, so there's not much lock on it. I've got a bigger gear to put on it, so I'm assuming it's going to still have enough torque. With it being a rack, it seems to not require as much torque as like the drop arm type system that normal steering has uh, and the brakes, that's the brake servo uh, which was on last time but since I've got, uh, gone up to this uh, 7.4 battery the brakes and now the steering uh, seem quite powerful, the brakes are really good I have had it out in the garden uh, a couple of weeks ago, having the brakes and the steering, and I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, I think the brakes should work now. Yeah. So that's the steering. Yes, I know the lock isn't enough yet. That's enough just to drive around the garden. That brake looks odd. Yes, 
something's changed there, so it's moving back too much. What's that? Yeah, sort that out later. Right, uh, what else have I done? Uh, I'm starting to pipe all the front shockers up. Uh, yeah, done those, uh, whatever you call them, tank things. Uh, but they're not piped up yet, they're just loose. Uh, I, I, I crashed it in the garden and bent everything up, so we've now got uh, new tie rods steering. Oops, that's me. Uh, what else have I done? I think that's about it. Right, for those of you that are still watching, let's now just have a slow walk around. Okay. Oh, one last thing, uh, I've just started thinking about body shapes, uh, so I've started cutting a few bits of crappy cardboard up, so I'm not sure about this, I think it might end up something like this, the front, it needs, the whole car needs to be lengthened, so that front idea. Probably going to be something like that. Uh, 